Well, they say the third time is a charm. So this is our third installment of our volume and capacity video, uh, or video series. Uh, we're going to be taking a look at pyramids today. Excuse me. Now, if you take a look at pyramids in our formula, okay, our formula that we're going to be using specifically for the calculation of volume for pyramids is actually volume equals length times width times height divided by three. It's this middle formula right here. I'm not going to try to explain or go into detail as to why uh, it is divided by three. We're just going to work that way. Okay. Um, so like it says here, uh, basically, after you find the answer of finding a regular cube or a rectangular prism, you divide that answer by three. But for our purposes, the volume is length times width times height divided by three. Here's a triangle we're going to be working with. Seven on one side, eight on the other, ten on the height scale. Okay. As with most problems, we know a bunch of unknowns. Okay. So our first step is to substitute the unknowns for our knowns. Okay. So one side is seven. One side is eight. The height is ten. We supplement that in. So, and then we, easy, easy peasy. We do the math. Okay. Seven times eight is 56. 56 times 10 which is the adding of a zero is 560. 560 divided by three. Actually, it doesn't happen completely uh, without a decimal. It comes out with 186.7. Um, as always, we make sure that we have our units of measure as we do here. The units of measure is centimeters cubed. So like I said, it isn't overly complicated. Basically, you take the formula, okay? You substitute in the values that you're given, and then you simply multiply and put centimeters cubed, meters cubed, whatever the answer is at the back. Um, the only difference here may be at times they'll give you the outer side length, okay? Which means what you're going to have to do is use the Pythagorean theorem. I won't do that, but it is something that you may be required to do later on in life. Okay, hope this was okay. Like I said, this is the third one. Two more to go. Um, after those two, we'll just do one on volume, and then you will be ready to crack a lacking. See you in video number four.